Hi everybody, it's uh, Pitter the Potter in Maggie Valley again. Uh, we're going to try to finish these uh, ship shape oil lamps that I started the other day. And uh, we're going to try to get the camera so it doesn't fall over here. Not easy. Here we go. Okay. Well, this is the piece we made the other day. It's a ship shape oil lamp with a real flat bottom. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pull a handle real quick here. We have some clay. And we have two mirror, a mirror so you can see beyond us. And then, of course, the uh, spot here. And we're going to pre-pull a handle that's going to fit on this uh, oil lamp. So we're just going to start to pull this handle. And we're going to preform this handle so it won't, we just have to attach it. So we're pulling this handle naturally, trying to thin it down as we go. Just a little water here. Okay, that's the basic form of a handle, not too thick, fairly wide. I'm going to put our little lines in there, the fine lines. And then we're going to, we've got the handle made now, little grooves in it. And we're going to cut this handle off and set it aside right here. And we're going to bring down this uh, oil uh, <coughs> lamp that we started the other day. And we'll uh, attach this handle and show you how we do that. Okay, so we've got our, our pot on the sitting up on the bucket on top of our wheel head right here with a big bat that's covering my wheel and a place to work. And then what we're going to do is just we're going to slip score a spot to attach this handle to. And of course you know this will get our works on it like a 10 inch globe and some other stuff so we're just going to sort of slip make a place to attach this handle here with a needle tool. And then this handle gets a reverse swing on it, so we're going to put the catcher spot a little bit higher up on the pot. And you'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. Okay, and then what we need to do is we're going to take our spray bottle of water and spray this down so it gets a little bit of slurry to it. It's looking nice. Looking nice. Okay. Now what we're doing is we're, we're cutting off the, uh, flatten out the top of the handle here. And I put the handle in between my two fingers here and I start to tap it down in the center, which is going to widen it and flatten it out over here and same thing over here. So we're getting it a little wider and flatter. And then so just pat her down. So now we have the handle ready to go, preformed. And what we're going to do is we're just going to lay that right up on the pot right there. And then we're going to start the attachment, smoothing it onto the pot. It's taking our time, melding the two pieces together. And then we're going to just take our pinky and support the inside here and we're going to push in the detail on this handle right here. Three little spots there and then come back over here. Dry fingers. And one more spot right there. Basically, we've got the, the handle attached to the pot. Now what we're going to do is give it a little lift over here. Right there, smooth everything together. Loop this around, and we're going to lay this down on the pot. So you can see that we have a start of a nice loopy handle right there. And we're going to take a needle tool right here and cut off the excess on the inside right here. Let's take that part away. And then we're going to smooth the handle is like reverse now. 
can see it's laid back underneath and we're just going to take a finger and smooth it onto the pot. An old fashioned attachment like that. Want to make sure the, the curve of the handle is nice. You've got to check it on both sides. Make sure it's going together here. Okay, that looks like we got it attached pretty quick right there, right? And we're going to just smooth it up, smooth it up, get it smooth. Hold the curve. And then on these pots, I'm going to take this and just stiffen this up a bit with a hair dryer or you can use a heat gun if you have one. And we're going to use this to put a little uh, top knot on here, so that's why I'm just stiffening this up a little bit. We got that stiffened up now a little bit. And what we're going to do here is just take a small piece of clay and make a top knot. And what I do on these is I just take a flat piece of flat clay and just flatten it out. Like you know, just a roll of clay. Doesn't have to be too big. Probably twice as much right there than I need. So just roll this out. I guess you can see what I'm doing. It's a little flat piece here. I'm going to cut it off with a needle tool right here, just a little cut. One here, and one right there. Just cutting it down with the needle tool. So now we have our little lug made right here. Small lug. We're going to make a an indentation right here on the top of this pot. It's a little groove to put this uh, this handle in. See it? It's going to sit right down here in the groove. Right there, just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our pen right here and we're going to put a hole through the center of the top knot into the handle. And that's going to make sure that it doesn't come off. You know, because we're not doing that much to it. Then we're just going to take a real small piece of clay and we're going to make a spike, a little tiny teardrop that's going to go right into the top right here. So we're going to roll this around and then sort of make it go to a little point. Looks like a little, little teardrop. See that little tiny teardrop with a pointy end? I'm going to put a little water on there. I'm going to drop that right into the handle. Bink like that, and then we're going to tap it down. And that's pretty much what this handle is going to look like. So I'm going to come down here real quick, and I'm going to show you just about where I am, right here. Okay, so here, here's the basic pot right here. And here's my dog, here's my son's dog, Walker. Hi, Walker. Hi, sweetie. And anyway, we're back to business. And then, as you can see, we've made the attachment of the handle right here with the pushed on part. And then we came down here, get a little more light on this subject here. You can see the attachment. <laughs> and then here's that top knot I was talking about. Sort of just laying up there, but it's welded into the handle. So there's your your whole piece with attention paid to both sides of the handle. Naturally, make sure you get that nice curve. And then, of course, the uh, top works will go up here about 10-inch globe and some an Eagle number two burner to have an oil lamp. Anyway, that's how we do it. This is one of the types of oil lamps we make, not oil candles. We make oil candles too. I think I've got one up on YouTube that you can take a look at. Anyway, it's been fun dealing with you folks. This is Pitta the Potter in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, saying see ya next time around. Ship shape oil candle. I mean oil lamp by Pitta the Potter. Bye bye.